how to promote your OnlyFans business using YouTube. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. There is so much content coming for you on how you can earn money online and grow your businesses with the power of social media. And if you are looking for any type of OnlyFans services, promotional services, Twitter management, Reddit management, guaranteed fans, I literally do it all. Reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram link is always in the video description down below so I can help you grow your business. So YouTube is one of the best ways where you can really connect with your viewers to in turn turn them into paying subscribers on your OnlyFans or Fansly business. So that is one of the best ways that I feel that I have been able to really connect with my clients, which we all should know and think this way because OnlyFans and Fansly is a business that these are your clients. As much as yes, they're fans in the business mindset and in a business mindset, these are paying, um, you know, subscribers. So they are in turn your clients or customers. And for me, long form content really helps you connect with people better. They're watching you more as opposed to, you know, a five or 10 second reel or TikTok that you might be making. And this is really one thing that I help my clients with. And this is something that helps them with long term goals. So with YouTube, just so you are aware, this is not something that you are going to, you know, post a video and you, you know, you're going to get overnight um, success in a sense. With YouTube, this is a long term game. That doesn't mean you're not going to get views because the niche that we will be going over and what you should be doing on YouTube to really help yourself grow on the platform is definitely going to help you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But YouTube still is a more long term game where your videos will be pushed out, but they are pushed out over time. So this isn't something that you feel or if you think you're going to get like instant gratification or instant results from it is not, but it is still a great way to be able to sustain and maintain your business and continuously get traffic to your sites. I already have a video on how to start a channel and the back end of, um, you know, what we're going to go over in this video. So I'm not going to dive too deep into metrics and, you know, SEO and everything else in this video, as I have another video for that. This video is so you can find out the niche that you should be doing and some ideas on how to really use YouTube to your advantage. With that being said, you obviously need to start a channel to be able to post on YouTube. But before you start a channel, this is something that I do for all of my clients because I also do have YouTube management services where I set up my clients YouTube channels. I do everything on the back end. All they do is send me the content and I will even um, edit and upload and everything for them. What I always do and what I recommend my clients, excuse me, my clients doing is not starting a channel until you have at least five videos already set up to go. So that way, as soon as you start your channel, you verify your channel with your phone number, you are then going to be able to just knock it out of the park and upload your first five videos right away. Okay. So I do want to let you know that those five videos, you aren't going to be uploading them and publishing all at the same time. You will give a day or two days in between each video, which in turn will give you more time to be able to produce more content. But right now, YouTube is really favoring new channels and actually pushing out their content. When I first started eight years ago and I had started my first channel, I literally would get zero views because they were not really favoring um, new channels like that. Like I literally had a couple of videos that had absolutely no views. Now the game has changed and Twitter is definitely Twitter. Excuse me. YouTube is definitely helping out the newer channels. So that is why I always recommend 
that if you are going to start a channel, you have your content ready and you do everything back to back as opposed to starting a channel and waiting a month. Not saying that if you do that, you're not going to get success, but it's really great just to prepare for even more success. So as I was saying, I really go deeper into another video about the real back end of, you know, what you need to be doing on YouTube. But I will at least mention this on this video is that on your videos, you have to make sure that you are titling your videos to exactly what that video is. And once you hit that upload button and you upload your video, everything is pretty self-explanatory. You will see that it says title, then right below it, it says description. And then there is other options below it. And you will also see a section that says tags. In the title, in the description, and in the tags of that video has to be what your video is about. So in Google and in you know the search world, I guess you could say that is called SEO, okay, which is search engine optimization. You want to make sure that you are optimizing your videos for search. If you don't know, YouTube is part of Google. I'm pretty sure mostly everybody does, but if, just in case you don't. So the same way you go onto Google and type, you know, oh, restaurant near me, or I don't know, um, whatever, right? Like what's going on in Greece right now? The same way you can type that in Google, you literally search in YouTube, right? I'm pretty sure all of you have done that. So it is the same thing. And you want to be able to make sure that your video is going to be found in that search and YouTube knows where to place it, what category in a sense you are, right? So that way you get in front of the correct audience and in front of the right eyes, okay? So whatever your video is for that specific day, you are gonna title it exactly what that is and you are gonna put that in the description with then just a brief description of that and then in your tags as well. Now in the video description, you are also going to put your site links, but you are not going to put your direct site links. You are going to use a third party like Linktree or Beacon, okay? And that you are also going to put in the video description so you can make sure that they know where to find you because if you're posting videos but they don't know where else to find you, you're not gonna be able to convert these viewers into customers. And with that being said, you also really need to make sure that when you are doing um, you know, all of this and you are even editing your videos to take that a further step, in marketing, we call it a CTA, which is a call to action. In your video, just giving a very you know light kind of call to action in the video, where at one point you could just put a text in the video, you know, don't forget to check out the video description to get more of my exclusive content. You know, so you're just kind of dropping that into the video. You're telling them and giving them the CTA, the call to action that you want them to do. And that is for them to go into your video description so they can then go to your links and get more exclusive content. So that is also a very, very big, important key in how you're going to really be able to utilize, um, you know, YouTube to really get your business going and get more traffic to your sites. So now to the good stuff and what I have all of my clients do on YouTube so I can help them grow their business is try on hauls. So try on hauls is a great niche to get into when you want to promote your business and grow your business and get traffic to your sites. So with try on hauls, it can be literally anything. I have my clients, I have some clients that do dress try on hauls. I have other clients that do bathing suit try on hauls, bikini try on hauls, laundry try on hauls, socks try on hauls, literally everything. So try on hauls has to be one of the best ways that I have seen and have gotten conversions and results for my clients. Now with that being said, Going back to that SEO where you have to title your videos, description, and tags, this is where you can do that and how you'll get your ideas, right? If it is a dress try-on haul, that is how you will title your video. Now, you're going to want a little bit more 
of a title than just dress try on haul. What you could do then is actually go into YouTube search bar itself and type in dress try on haul and see some of the other results that comes up so you can get some ideas. That is a secret tip, guys. So definitely utilize that. But with that being said, that is how you will know how you are going to title your video. With that, you then are going to put it into the video description and the tags, like I said, I know I keep on saying it, but it's very important that you do that. The same thing, so whatever your try on haul will be, that is how you will know to make your video description and title about. But that is the number one way and the method that I have all of my clients doing, all of their content is that, so definitely utilize that to your advantage. I really hope this video was helpful on how you can promote your OnlyFans using YouTube. If you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram. I literally answer everybody. If not, comment down below. Let us know if there's anything else that you do on YouTube that can help other people watching as we are all here to grow.